Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to find an expression for a cubic function, f, if f of 1 equals 6, and f of negative 1, f of 0, and f of 2 are equal to 0. So first, let's write the general form of a cubic function. y is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the points that we know are on the graph of this function, and therefore the x and y values that will satisfy this equation, and we can therefore solve for a, b, c, and d and get our actual function. So first, if f of 1 is equal to 6, that means the point 1, 6, if I can write it properly, is on the graph. If f of negative 1 is equal to 0, that means the point negative 1, 0 is on the graph. Same with 0, 0, and 2, 0. The value that f is taking on is the x value, and the value it equals is the y value. So let's plug these in. I think starting with the ones with a lot of zeros in them is going to be easier. y is equal to 0. x is equal to negative 1. So a times negative 1 cubed plus b times negative 1 squared plus c times negative 1 plus d. 0 is equal to negative a plus b minus c plus d, right? Since negative 1 cubed is minus 1, negative 1 squared is plus 1, negative 1 is negative, and then there's just plus d. Now this is an equation with our constants, and we can create more of these and then have a system which we can solve. f of 0 is 0, so therefore 0 is equal to a times 0 cubed plus b times 0 squared plus c times 0 plus d. 0 is there or equal to, this is 0, this is 0, this is 0. All of these cancel and we're just left with the d. So therefore d is equal to 0. So therefore we can 1, we can eliminate it from here. And 2, we now have solved for one of our constants that are going to go in our final equation. Next, f of 2 is equal to 0. 0 is equal to a times 2 cubed plus b times 2 squared plus c times 2 plus d. Don't even have to write it anymore since we know it's 0, so plus 0 doesn't change anything. 0 is therefore equal to 2 cubed is 8a, 2 squared is plus 4b plus 2c. Now we have one, we have three variables here that we still have to solve for. We have one, two equations. We still need one more. Luckily, f of 1 is equal to 6. So we can do 6 is equal to a times 1 cubed plus b times 1 squared plus c times 1. Again, we don't have to add plus d. 6 is equal to a plus b plus c. So we now have 1, 2, or sorry, two, three equations, and now we can solve for our variables. So let's do that over here. So let's do 0 is equal to negative a plus b minus c, and 6 is equal to a plus b plus c. Let's add these two up. 0 plus 6 is 6, negative a plus a is 0, so those cancel. b plus b is 2b, plus negative c plus c is another 0. So the a's and c's cancel. We're just with, left with 6 is equal to 2b. If we divide both sides by 2, b is equal to 3. So now we have two of our four constants. Next up, we can plug that back into these equations. So for example, we can do 6 is equal to a plus 3 plus c, plugging 3 into this equation. Subtracting 3 from both sides, this cancels, a plus c is equal to 3. Now we can also do that with this function right here. I'll just delineate this, it's going to be a little bit complicated as we add more and more equations, but we're almost there. Zero is equal to eight a plus four times three plus two c. 
Therefore, zero is equal to 8a plus 12 plus 2c. We can divide by two. Zero is equal to 4a plus six plus c, and subtracting by six. These cancel, left with 4a plus c is equal to negative six. Since we know that three is equal to a plus c, we can subtract these two equations and get negative six minus three is negative nine. 4a minus a is 3a, and c minus c is zero. Therefore, we can divide by three and get this cancels. a is equal to negative nine divided by three is negative three. So now we have three of our four. And we can do one last step here. Plugging into our last equation, let's choose this one, it seems easy enough. Three is equal to a plus c. A is equal to negative three, so three is equal to negative three plus c. Adding three on both sides, c is equal to six. So now we can create our function. We have function f of x is equal to ax cubed is negative three x cubed, bx squared is positive plus three x squared, plus cx is plus six x, and plus d is plus zero. And again, you don't have to write the plus zero. So this is your function f of x, for which f of one is six, and f of one, f of negative one, f of zero, and f of two are equal to zero. f of x is equal to negative three x cubed plus three x squared plus six x.